Welcome to Craven Customs. I am back. And I pre-started this and I thought about it like, man, I need to show you guys what I'm doing. And hopefully it is not too dark for you guys. You can see this cup I pre-started um, maybe a couple days ago. The glitter is supposed to be black. But I got this uh, glitter from Amazon. I'll leave that in the description box. Um, hopefully, I'm going to get some more light so you guys can see. But uh, I just wanted to pop on here and show you. Not about um, seeing close up on a cup too much because I'll get some more light. But um, how I started off doing these lines and where I'm at with it right now. I actually pre-started with putting lines all up the cup. It's almost like a waste of tape, but that's what you got to do to get the lines as even as possible. I don't feel like that all the way even, but you know, you can always go back and touch up some things, which I am going to do. If you can't see this little shiny spot, it's almost like I either overspray or missed the spot because I thought the, the tape was right there and it pulled it off. Um, I actually spray painted this with my clear spray. It's that right here. Um, I spray painted that um, four times. Uh, but I sprayed first. Um, once I took all the tape off and my even lines where I was going to put the black at, is where I spray paint it under here with my black can spray paint. It's a regular gloss spray. Um, then I added my Mod Podge, which is right here. And, and then I put my glitter on. I let that sit after I sprayed it four times and I just kept letting it sit. Um, it actually sat for like two days. So now I'm back at it working on this cup. I have couple cups behind it but I just wanted to get this started on the next step which is what I'm doing now I took all my tape off and now I'm getting ready to tape these parts down because after you fill it and you don't see any glitter and it's kind of hard you go ahead and you tape those parts off which I'm doing and then you're going to spray paint this empty spot here white so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just wanted to show you what I was doing beforehand because I want you to guys to see how I do this without um, a cutter. So, oh Lord, that was going to be a, you just want to be really careful and I use the tape that I use, I got it from... Where did I get this tape from? Uh, I got this tape from uh, Family Dollar. It was $5. I don't really too much like this, but I'm going to find some more tape. But I'm going to use it for now. Only reason I don't like it is because it's it seemed like it just don't want to sit right around the cup like I want it to. I don't know if it's just the material of the cup or not. But I just want to show you that. See how that is. And you want to make sure you get it exactly on the black. No over the black or anything. And you want to make sure you press down. Not too hard. Well, with mine, like I said, you see how it's kind of like sitting up. You don't want it to sit up. Well, once you spray paint the white, it won't get into the black. That's why you're covering it up. But I just want to show you guys that. And then you're going to end up with this part. I don't want to make it tedious. I'll be back once I do the white. Okay, so I'm back. And this is what I got. See what I'm saying? How it's so wrinkly? It's straight. And I did it steady. And you saw me do that. Then I had to cut a little bit off the bottom because I need all that extra assets accessed but let me say that three times um it didn't it crumbled up and i don't like that i want it flat but i made sure i tighten it up as possible it's in the middle on the tape so this is how i did the black 
I just spray painted it, the empty spots, and this was covered, well, the other part was covered up. So what I'm going to do is let this sit and dry for about, I want to say, five or ten minutes. It's, once it's dry, then I'm going to go with my Mod Podge and I'm going to put my white glitter on there. And I'll be back once I do that. But I just want to show you what I did. I just took it outside, spray painted with my semi-white gloss spray paint rust-oleum um you can go get that i got that for like four dollars but just stuff on sale you just gotta look around i got that from um, menards so yep i'm gonna let that dry for about five to ten minutes if not if it ain't dry a little bit longer and then i'll come back hi i am so sleepy <laughs> but i tried to start and i thought about it like i'm supposed to be showing you guys what I did. I showed you that I spray painted it and I'm just going to show you a small bit because this is really tedious. I have my Mod Podge in a little medicine cup. Oops. My Mod Podge right there. Ugh. Okay, and so I just wanted to show you how I do this. And you want to be very careful to because the lines are supposed to line up and I I am very weary of my lining I need to get lining straight better but this is just for show and I have some I'm gonna figure it out if the lining don't work we got a backup plan we can improvise we can change and put Right on them linings, we could put some wash tape or something, some washi tape or something to to fix it. So, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to focus in, but I wanted to show you. I'm just going up against here, straight on here and bringing it down. Same way here and bringing it up. To meet in the middle I have my Walmart glitter this white I'm gonna use got a little sparkle in it it's like a little green almost like a mermaid white it's gonna work <laughs> but I just want to show you that and I'm going to pour that on here I could do the whole thing right here but you know uh, my podge is very fickle, so you have to hurry up and do it fast. And me talking to you slowing me down, but I just wanted to show you how I'm doing it. So I have a plate. I have parchment paper. That should be better for you to use, but um, And if it doesn't come out as even as you want, I still have my trusty brush to like brush off the the excess. And I, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? You see that sparkle right there? I like it, but I don't like that green. So I'm still looking for like white and a, a good, like a charcoal black. And like a really pretty white. I have another white, but it's kind of like chalky, and I don't like chalky. So, if that's the term. So, yep, I'm just going to keep doing this. I might do another layer. I put it on there really thin. Um, I might put another layer on there if I have any, like, open spots or anything. But, um, that's really what, what the process is. It's pretty easy and simple. So, I will be back once I... Fully finished this and ready to take the tape off.